Hi everybody, it's Pam with Silver and Sparkles, and I have another um, one-page wonder for you. And um, it's kind of similar to some other accordion-style um, little, I guess, mini journals I've been making, but it is constructed differently. Um, and, and I think it's really easy. So anyway, we'll have fun with it. Um, there are two, let's see, there are two side load pockets. Okay, so there's one here that's covered. And then there's one on this side that loads this way. So what's nice about these pockets, I think, whoa, is they're roomy, but whatever you put in there isn't going to fall out because you got this flap with a little Velcro closure. Um, and then there are two top load pockets. Okay. Now, I hope you guys don't mind, but I'm using this um, aqua blue paper again because I just can't get enough of these birds and I'm having fun with it. So we're going to use it again today. <laughs> use whatever paper you have on hand, though, and then whatever embellishments you want. Um, I used a little bit of book page and then just pieces from this kit. And I wrote, you are loved and life is beautiful and a couple of little scraps. Okay, so the first thing you want to do... I try to get most things prepped, is you want to pick your piece of paper. And um, I've got several printed here. Not sure about, maybe, maybe we'll use this one. I haven't used it much. Okay, so the measurement of the paper I'm using, I've only printed on one side. I just trimmed the white part. So it ended up being 10 and a quarter by... Not quite eight. That looks like seven and seven eighths. So, um, eight, ten and a quarter by eight. That'll be fine if you want to. Okay. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are gonna fold it in half, hamburger style. So, fold it in half. And like I said, this is so easy. The the folding part's super easy. Let's get a nice good crease. Try to be as neat as you can. No matter what I do, I always end up with a little little bit I have to trim off. So if that happens, don't worry. We'll do that together. Um, and then fold it in half the other way. Now, I printed mine on a 90-pound card stock. I think this project would work okay probably even with just regular paper weight. But if you're like me and have card stock, you really need to make sure you get that crease in there good. Okay. And then open it up. And I know you cannot see on the camera this crease very well, so I'm going to ink it for you so you can see it. Okay, so then all we're going to do is we're going to fold, um, we'll start with the right side, the right side in right, right up to the crease. Don't go over the crease, but just kind of go up to it because you want everything to fold together nicely. So you don't even have to measure <laughs> once you get your paper cut. Okay, and this is what I meant about no matter how neat I am, I always end up with just a little bit. And if we need to, we'll trim that off. All right, so once you folded that side in, now fold the other side in as well. And again, right up to the score line. All right, and get nice good creases. And now... Um, we have the accordion like this. Now, this is the main construction, and this is why I'm calling this a one-page wonder. When you use um, the other pieces, we're actually going to then add a flap on. This is optional, though. You really, you don't have to add this flap or this flap. So, I guess if if you talk about those, it's no longer a one-page wonder. But we're we're going to leave it in that category because you can make a great project just with this. Um, fold right here. All right. Now, if you want to spend some time inking, go right ahead. I'm going to just do a quick, a, a little quick bit of ink. I'm not going to spend a ton amount of time because I can ink mine off camera later. I try to ink when it's going to help you guys see where I'm folding. Now, I am going to glue this is where we have to pay attention to what we're doing. Um, I'm using my Line Co. PVA glue, um, and it's linked in my Amazon storefront if you want to see the supplies I'm using. Um, 
we are going to add glue uh, on both ends just to the top section. That's going to leave those side panels open for us. So add a bead of glue just along the top, the left and the right side. I started on the right, um, right up to the score line. And then just very smoothly um, stick that down. <laughs> okay. Um, and you know, you're going to want to let it dry before you start playing with your pocket too much, but keep kind of folding it. You can fold it back and forth both ways, um, to make sure it's getting happy being folded up together. And then you'll know you've got a pocket here, a pocket here, and then a pocket the top here and here. Now, I did not put any glue to um, separate those. I just find it keeps the pocket nice and roomy and it's not necessary, but you could if you want to. Now, it looks like this came together pretty well. I may trim off just that tiny little sliver. Um, you could ink it if it doesn't bother you. If your papers aren't as dark as mine, you may not even see it because it was that tiny. I think it just has to do with this cardstock. When you start folding it, everything gets off just by a smidge. Okay. Now, if you want to make yours like mine, we're going to do the flaps next. You can skip the flap if you don't want to, and you can just decorate this panel, you know, to be your front, and then this panel to be the back. Okay. But I am going to add a flap to both of mine. So let me show you how I did that. Again, I'm using this aqua blue kit and there is a page. Um, you get four tags this size and we're gonna use those to make these flaps. So I went ahead and just cut them out into the tag shape. But what we're gonna do is we are gonna cut the um, this portion of the tag off because we don't need that. Now, the other thing we can do is measure we need it to be a little under four inches tall um, so that it the flap will work and then I like to just look at my image to decide do I want to take you know more off of the top and then some off of the bottom so that it will sit um, it'll be nice on here um, now if we're making the flap because I want mine, I want this, if this is the front, I want the flap to open like this and to have the pocket and then the accordion to open that way. Um, just decide w which way you want yours to open. If you want this to be the front, that works too. And you can open that up almost like, you know, you would um, the opposite of a page and then open it this way. So really, the front or the back, it doesn't matter. But I'm going to start with mine like this. And I've trimmed trimmed it down. I think I've trimmed it enough. I think I need to go just a smidge shorter so that it won't be taller than my little accordion. So like I said, this is, let's see, right at like... See how it, it sits right in there? And this is four inches tall, or right at four. So mine is probably, again, three and seven eighths, three and six eighths, something like that. Okay. And then I am going to line it up where you can see just a little bit of the edge of this panel. And I'm laying it down and then I'm just flipping this this over now you could measure and then score it I'm just doing it the easy way so again I'm holding it very carefully I'm laying it down and I'll let it wiggle and then I'm just folding it over okay so now this is what it's gonna look like and then when you open it up you've got your pocket here to tuck something in isn't that cute? And I'll use a Velcro dot to hold it down here. Now I do want to ink this. Let me get my ink out. Do, do, 
positive. There we go. And I like having the extra flap and it gives, I think, the front of my little accordion journal a, a nice cute look. Now one thing that you do have to pay attention to, and I didn't when I said I was gonna start here, you have to pay attention to um, your pockets, your top load pockets. So you can't put your journal together this way and then your, your pocket is at the bottom, the opening to your pockets. So you've gotta keep it turned the, the way that the um, pocket openings are. So this panel, this decoration is actually gonna go on this panel. So now, again, once I adhere it, I'm gonna be able to access the pocket here, and then these two, and then we'll fix this one. All right, I hope that was clear. Once you know where you want your pocket, you have it folded over, lay it down, and you're just gonna add glue to this side, and that will not glue, glue your pocket closed. Because again, I'll show you. So just glue that down. And then when it flips open, the pocket itself is still open on this side, okay? All right, I'm not gonna add the Velcro yet. I'm gonna wait to see how I wanna decorate this. Now, I didn't print these on both sides, and what I did on my original is I just layered another piece of the decorative paper there. You can leave it white, you can make that a journaling spot, whatever you wanna do. Or you could print on both sides and then you're done. Okay, same thing here. I'm gonna trim off my, my little tag and get it to that little bit under four inches. And then this one, so cute. This one, I'm gonna do the same thing, fold it over. And I like having um, on the other side that little bit of the pattern. And if you don't have this paper kit, again, just use another another piece of paper or use a different journaling card, an image, you know, a postcard, something that you like to be your flap. Just another piece of um, pattern paper cut to the right size would be cute. I'm gonna give you the measurement. These end up being like that three and seven eighths height. And these are just three and a quarter inches wide. So if that helps you, all right, now this one, we're gonna glue on the same way. So just line it up where you want it, hold it steady, and glue this one panel down. All right, and then now this one is open here. Okay, so you got your two pockets. Isn't it cute? Very cute. And it opens this way as well. All right, and now um, we'll do some more decorating. Um, I did some of the pages. I put some of the bird fussy cuts and a little bit of book page. Some I did, these were the smaller tags, the tags that were like this size. And again, I just cut them off to make it look like a little piece of journaling paper or a frame where you could then put, you know, an image or a picture there. So we'll just decorate a few of the pages. I see some of the squares. And then I'll also show you how I made these tags that go in the top pocket. The ones on the inside are just decorated um, the, this, this size tag, and I just decorated them. So we'll just tuck one in each um, for now. I think I have another one cut. Yeah, we'll put this one in there. And I'll just, I'll go back and decorate those later, but that's just a little tag. You can put whatever you want in the pockets. So I think I'm gonna open it all the way up. And I know I'm working first with these four panels and um, we'll get them decorated. So I liked having the book page as, um, let me just get a couple of sheets out. This is from a Reader's Digest um, 
just an old Reader's Digest, which I love working with those. I just like having that this little bit of color, and you know, I always think, I always think a project looks better with a little bit of torn book page. So we're gonna go with that philosophy. And um, this is how I I did the original. Is I just got myself some book page. I didn't even worry about what I was going to be putting there, and I just put some little strips down. So that's how we're going to do it today, too. I am going to save one of those, and we'll write some words on it here in a minute. I broke my fingernail. So if y'all watched some of my other videos recently, I'll let you know that my anniversary was coming up. My husband and I did get to go out to dinner last night for our anniversary. We had a wonderful time. Um... And it was just us, none of our young adult children. <laughs> Beforehand, though, we did go um, where I have my little shop here in town. Um, there was a scavenger hunt and all the, not all of them, but a bunch of the vendors in, in the shop, like myself. We donated items and we had prizes for the scavenger hunt. And it was fun. I think we had an okay turnout. Um, they're going to do the drawing for the prizes and notify people via email. So hopefully if you were in town, you got to pop over there. But we did that for a few minutes with my son and um, his girlfriend and then our youngest daughter, Julie, too. So we did a couple um, a couple of minutes out there and then we went to dinner. So it was really nice. We are going to be um, in Florida in about two weeks for a vacation that I cannot wait. I'm so excited. Um, like I said, y'all, I'm just kind of putting some down. Um, I'm just laying a piece here and there down. Um, yeah, so we got to get Julie back to college first next weekend. And then it'll be time to think about going on vacation. So I'm excited. It's been a while. It's been a while, and I'll get to see my dad. So he'll be 81 this October. Last fall, we had his big 80th birthday party. My brother and my husband and I organized that, and it was a lot of fun. I'm not sure what we're gonna do this year. Probably um, be a little bit quieter. <laughs> I don't know that I'll be with him to celebrate this year, but we'll um, probably go to lunch and stuff when I'm down there in a couple of weeks, so. A little early birthday, maybe. He said he really isn't celebrating birthdays anymore, but he did like the party last year. So we'll see. Well, maybe if we get to 85, we'll have another one. Um, he'll, he'll probably agree to that. Okay, so if you want to do the book page, once you get a few random pieces put down, I liked... Um, using these as some little journaling spots. It's um, patterned, but I think a, a small enough or light enough patterns that it'll look good. Is that light enough colors? I think that's the word I was going for. <laughs> All right. Um, I also have planned today. I'm going to do um, another one or two videos in our um, junk journal idea book um, series. I haven't forgotten about it. I've got some fun ideas for us. I just, um, I'm trying to get a few videos made ahead of time. So y'all may be watching them in a different order than how I, how I film them or record them because um, I like to have enough stuff to post even Hopefully, it doesn't always work out, but even when I'm out of town or busy with some other priorities, um, because it's fun, and it keeps me busy. Okay, I think on here, I'm going to put, let's see what some of our little fussy cuts look like. I think those are almost the same two little birds. Maybe we'll put this little bird... Hmm. And he kind of looks like him. So let's set that aside. Let's not use those. I don't want to use the ones that look the same. Okay, so maybe we'll put him here. Some of these I've already inked and some I haven't. And I did need to, like I said, I'm going to write a couple of words too. All right, we'll put him down. 
right there. And again, I'm just decorating because I like to and I'm having fun, but you can do yours any which way you like. Oh, I like this chubby fella. Um, he's fluffy. I'm calling him fluffy, not chubby. Um, you know, this this is my favorite part of crafting is making things start to look really cute and, and happy. But, um, you know, use whatever you have. You can do a totally different thing. This would be cute for a fall craft. This would be cute for a Christmas craft. Um, you could do it with more neutral papers and it'd be a nice, you know, thing to tuck inside a journal for extra journaling space. You got all kinds of options. Um, before we worry about doing those back panels, let's make the two tags that go up here because I'm trying to also keep an eye on the time. Um, but we'll probably have time to do all of it. Okay, so for those, this is what I did. There's also a sheet in this kit that are what I consider kind of a, a bookmark size. And I'll give you the measurements so that you can cut just other papers you have. But they fit in nicely in the vertical pockets. These are two and a quarter inches wide and a smidge over six inches long. And what I did was I folded um, the top down. I don't know, what is that? Let's see. I just eyeballed it almost a half an inch. So you could do a quarter of an inch, you could do half an inch, you kind of go in between like I did. And then I wanted to see, okay, how tall do I want it to be? And I wanted it to peek out just a little bit. And I know the pockets are around four inches. So I have made these four and a quarter inches tall. So once you decide how far down at the top, and like I said, I like doing this because it shows, it makes it look like a topper on the back where we're gonna then just put neutral paper for journaling on. So one, once you have that folded over, you know, get your ruler out, you know you want it to be about a four, four and a quarter, and again, that'd have to be perfect. Just fold up the bottom. There's four and a quarter, and I just folded up the bottom. Okay, I hope you guys can see that. All right, and so, and I didn't cut those off. I just folded them up so that we have, um, you know, the decoration. This one, I, I wanted to see more of a peep of that color, so I made my journaling spot just a tiny bit smaller but I did them like that. And like I said, they're not exactly the same size, but they're really close. And they sit in these pockets so nicely. Okay, now for the paper, for the journaling paper, that was actually, I think it was from this piece. Yeah, oh look, there's a slip we can use. It was just from a book page um, that didn't have any text on it. So we're gonna use this to lay inside. I think it, it's um, wide enough. And because I don't wanna see that bright white, I am going to just take my Distress ink and distress right along the edges. So when we lay this down, it, we're not staring at bright, bright white because it's a little bit more narrow than the actual journaling card is. So again, this is just different ways to use the different elements in this kit. I'm gonna glue this flap down. Um, and again, if you don't have these papers, just grab any papers you'd like. You could even just make these out of coffee dyed paper or book page. All right. I'm not, I haven't glued the top flap down because I want it to come over like this, okay? So then we'll just glue this paper down. And it's a little fragile because it's from a pretty old book, but it has great color and great texture. And I think I told you guys, I need to just, just take time in the kitchen and make myself some more tea dyed and coffee dyed paper because I am, out. I have a few scraps, probably big enough to do this project, but I haven't looked in my scrap bin. Um, but the full sheets, I have used them all up. And I'm in the middle of making some really big, chunky journals for the holidays that I'm going to have in my shop and on Etsy. And I need paper.
Okay, now didn't that turn out cute? And because these already had a little bit of collaging on them, I just think they look good just the way they are. All right, so that was one. And it goes right in there. And it hangs out the top. And then you have the decoration on both sides. I think this one's a little bit taller than, than how these hang out. No, they're about the same. A little bit. But that's okay. All right, and I'm going to do the same thing on this one. And I'm, I folded this one down a little bit more. And that's all right. But I still want it to be about the same height. So I'm going to come back over here and fold it up so it is approximately four and a quarter. And again, a little bit of inking. And go around the edges in a minute. And then a piece of paper. I just kind of want to layer these in and do that. And I'm trying to think of what else I've got going on. Um, I've gotten a few fun requests from you guys for videos. Thank you, thank you for telling me things you'd like to see me make. So I've got those on my list. Um, and one of one one of my dear dear followers, and I don't I don't know your first name. I need to ask you that. Your username is a little complicated. Those YouTube usernames are hard. But anyway, you had asked me to on one of the one page wonders that I did a mini, a mini, you said, oh, can you make this one bigger for us? And I, I totally can do that. Um, and so that is on my list and um, I'll be working on that one soon. And then you left another comment later and said, I'm sorry, I requested that. I know you're busy, don't worry about it. <laughs> and I was like, no, I'm gonna get to it. So I'm gonna respond. I haven't responded to that comment yet. It came through right as I was sitting down. To, to finish up this prep and get this video recorded. So don't ever feel bad at it. I mean, if I can't, if I can't do it, I, I won't. Oops, I didn't, I didn't pre, pre-ink that white part. So I'm gonna see if I can cover it up a little. Yeah, that looks okay. Um, yeah, don't ever apologize. If I can't do it, I won't. Um, and I, you know, I'll let you know, but I love hearing what you guys would like to see because, um, you know, if, you, if that'll help you and it'll make you enjoy crafting and everything, I'm happy. If I, if I can figure it out, I'll do it. It may take me a little while, but I'll get there. All right, how cute. It's really looking nice. Let's just take another couple of minutes and do a little more decorating. And then we'll call this one done. I'm going to hand tear another couple of strips. Isn't it funny how just a little bit, like I said, a little bit of book page can really make a project pop. All right. So what are other things that I can talk to you about while you watch me ink book page? <laughs> um, I don't know. Sometimes it's hard to think things to yap about um, when you're not here to, to talk back. Oh, okay. I can tell you a couple things. So, um, oh, I think I like this size, uh, this paper better. Um, I wanted your opinion, and maybe I'll do a poll to you on a, like a community post or something, but if you're listening and you hear me ask this question, let me know. So I was thinking for some of the holiday, like Christmas, and maybe fall, but Christmas, especially the Christmas one themed junk journals, you know how sometimes people have um, like all the dangles on the back of the spine or all kinds of ribbons or things like that to really kind of, I don't know, make them look fancy and cute. I was thinking for Christmas, that that might be fun. I don't, I've done some that way, but I haven't done them in a long time. And like, what do you think? Would you like a journal that has that extra kind of pizzazz or whatever decoration? Um, especially like for a holiday or if you were going to give it as a gift, or do you prefer keeping the cover and the spine and all that a little more, um, I don't know, um, streamlined, a little more neat, maybe not as bulky. You know, those are words, I guess, you know. Um, or, or do you say, no, let, let's go all out, especially at the holidays. Let me know what you think, because I'm thinking about doing some 
dangles and if you're not sure what I'm talking about I don't have an example but like this is what I would say keeping it more streamlined right like you know you've got a journal and you're working in it and eventually this one will be nice and chunky or would you like to see a decoration that hangs like off the back of the spine ribbons um on, like little ornaments those types of things so that when the journal maybe is in a bookcase you would you would see that or you know it if it's laying here, that would be laid out. The only issue I have if it's not removable is I like to work in my journals. So if you've got all that back here and you go to open it up to me, that's why I always hesitate doing the extras. But I did think if I made them removable, you know, you could have it in there and how cute would that be? And then when you're ready to work in the journal, you pull it off and you set it there maybe for some inspiration, looking at colors or pretty things. So... I don't know. Um, I was just thinking it might catch somebody's eye and they might go, oh, that's perfect for what I want to do. <laughs> um, I don't know. Let me know what y'all think. And um, and we'll go from there. Um, and I, maybe I'll do some of both and then let you guys know what people thought. You know, like, did they like the ones that are super embellished or do they like ones that are a little more simple and maybe easy to work with? All right, I'm just going to glue these little birdies down and I think in this paper kit I've done like four squares like this um, so you've got a few options and then I'm just gonna quickly these are already inked so they're going to get chosen to go down And I do think I would like um, these white pages to have be covered, maybe book page, like I said, with more journaling spots. Oh, I wasn't going to do birds. I was going to do some more of these, but that's okay. We got lots of birds on this side. Not paying attention. All right, so I definitely on these, I think, would do a more neutral paper or do a pattern paper and then a you know a smaller neutral paper right on top so that we have more writing space. Okay, so let's put a couple of words. And I'd saved that strip, but I think I'm going to use this so it'll match the tags. Um how about um ooh, do, 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 do. I did you are loved and life is beautiful. How about we do um you make me smile. That'll be fun. And I'll do um, da -da -da. what else do I want to say? Um, we'll do one that says you make me smile and then one that says um, how about chin up buttercup. I don't know why that popped into my head, but we are gonna put chin up, buttercup. This could be one to encourage somebody and remind them that just by being who they are, they've made you smile and keep on going, right? Keep on going. And I definitely don't believe that people who are, you know, grieving, sad, those types of things that we shouldn't give them a safe place to be able to express that, you know. Um, I, I want people to know they're safe with me, but I also think it's sometimes nice, at least for myself, to see something like Chin Up Buttercup or Keep Going or You're Strong, You Can Do This, not because people can't um, tell you how they really are feeling, but just for encouragement. So there, I think that's kind of funny with those little birds on there. Now, the um, little Velcro dots are optional. I usually wait to put them on um, until after I've decorated because, of course, I don't want to put it onto this white paper and then cover up my Velcro when I go to decorate it. So I'm going to wait to do that until I decide how to decorate those. But for now, I'm going to call the video done. I hope that gave you guys some fun ideas of how to make a really fun accordion insert. This could be a great standalone. 
Oh, and someone did request that I show how to make some folios and pockets that you could use in lieu of a traditional birthday card. And I'm going to put some of my favorite ideas together and do a video on that um, and decorate them like as, as cards, um, birthday or greeting cards. But um, really any of these ideas, I think you could alter and turn into instead of buying a card at the store or just making a flat, you know, card, um, you could turn one of these into that. Okay. I love them. I think they're cute. The birds are really making me smile. So you guys have a great day. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like the video, drop me a comment. It helps. <laughs> I appreciate your support. Have a great one.